Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Investor Show. As always, this is your host, the Prince of Investing, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, share button, and hit the bell icon to get notifications as every new great video drop. But as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so let's jump straight into it. So as you can see in the description box, or you can see in the title of this video, we're going to be talking about stocks that pay monthly dividends with TD Ameritrade. Now, it's not just because it's TD Ameritrade. I'm just showing you this particular platform. So if you see a symbol, I'm just showing you how you can, I'm going to show you how you can find, um, pretty much set up your filters to show you stocks that pay monthly dividends. And once you have the symbol, you can use it on E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, SkyTrade, I think they got brought out. Whatever social, not, uh, whatever uh, stock buying brokers platform you may have. But let's get straight into it. So here on TD Ameritrade, how you can do this, you're going to go to the tab that says Research. Up under Research, you're going to drop down to the tab right here up on the stocks where it says Overview. Click on that. It's going to bring you to this. When you come here, go to the next one that says Streamer. Click on Streamer. And once you get to Streamer, what you're going to do is you're going to create a stock streamer. So you're going to go, go down here to where it says create stock streamer. Boom. Now up on the stock streamer, you're going to stroll down all the way to dividends. Up on the dividends, you're going to look at dividend frequency. How often does this thing pay dividends? So let's look at dividend frequency, and we're going to throw in dividend yield, which is how much it pays in dividend. And we're also going to go down here, we're going to put in current price. That's just something I'm just throwing up here. So dividend frequency right up under here where it says dividend frequency, right? You can say I'm looking for stocks that pay monthly, quarterly, semi-quarterly. So obviously we're going to look at monthly. Then it's the dividend yield. You say, well, uh, the average is 2.37, but you can pick. You don't have to pick one. But let's say if you're looking for stocks that pay 8 to 10% dividends monthly. Well, it pays 8 to 10% over a year annually. But, you know... Uh, you're looking for stocks that are paying 8 to 10% annually that pays out every month. Now, you can pick the current price of the stock if you want to pick a, a price of stock, but we're not going to do that. Right here it says we got 80 matches. We can click on it. Now, once you click on it, it's going to bring you here with all the companies that pay monthly dividends between 8 to 10%. You got the dividend yield here, and then you have the current price of a particular stock. Now, you can put this list in uh, higher to lower, lower to higher, however you want to do it by clicking on it. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go to the first one they have here, which is this AVA stock. I don't know what this stock is, but hey. But anyway, annually, it pays $1.41 a year. So this thing pays out every month. So what you're going to do, go over here to calendar. Click on calendar. When you click on, click on calendar, it's going to give you the last year. And the layout, the... <sighs> The last year of dividends is going to tell you it paid 11 cent for every stock that you held per month. So if you had a stock, it'll pay you 11 cent on March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and it just paid out in February, right? So when you add these up, this is going to give you the uh, annual dividend rate. The annual dividend is 9.69, and you know by paying you 11 something cent a month. Per every stock that you have. So if you got two stock, it'll be twenty-two cent a month. If you got uh, five stocks, it'll be what fifty-five cent a month. So it just go on and on, and you can have these dividends reinvested or whatnot. Now, granted, I am not telling you, oh, you gotta buy this. I don't even know what this stock is. It's my first time seeing it, but this is just giving you more tools for your toolbox. If you are a dividend junkie, or if you're someone who are living off of uh, royalties or someone who has a fixed income that wants to create a monthly income, these are things that you can, these are particular stocks that you can probably look into to help build you a dividend portfolio. But as always, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and share button. Until the next video, podcast, cartoon, or whatever else you see me do crazy around the globe, check out the description box. Peace, be safe, I'm out, and thank you. Okay.